What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Weekend's here. Got a small little mail day here. Four cards. They're all off of whatnot. Um, you guys probably see two more whatnot pickups uh, probably next week, one day here. I'm not too sure much more I'll be picking up off them since I'm waiting for them to recertify my sales tax exemption. But let's get into what we got here. And then we'll talk about the card show coming up tomorrow. So all these I could tell you, I got pretty much at like 50 to 60% value, which was really good. LeBron James. LeBron James heat uniform. These are the prime jersey patches out of 25. Really, really nice pieces. I want to say it was a BGS 7 is the one I saw that sold. I'd have to go back and look. It's been a while. But I do know these do get a little bit pricey um, onto it. With them being in the playoffs, for one, I figured I'd hold it just in case. They might be able to pull something off against the Nuggets. Highly doubt it. But otherwise, it's just a piece to hold on to until he actually retires from the NBA. And I think stuff will go up a little more and probably Hall of Fame. But not going really crazy onto his stuff at all. For some reason, just a, not a lot of hype behind good old LJ, as I called him. LJ LeBron. All right, let's move on here. These three here I got off of Brandon, Pure One Sports. I think he comes on like once a week and does shows. He did all slabs. So first off the bat, I thought this was a pop one. It may have been a pop one whenever he had it too. Um, these guys all ship quick. I I know who these guys are. I've dealt with them before. It's the reason why I go in there into their rooms. But this is a Crown Royal Sangoon Rookie Auto. I think it's out of 99. Yeah, out of 99. This is actually now a pop two. Really good price. These sell for around a hundred dollars raw. Um whatever you guys want to use for your multiplier. Uh for me, I think it's probably somewhere around 300 probably for the card being in a 10 now. But could be wrong. I'd have to do a lot of comp checking on to it. Pick this up here. Uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> Pop one on this. 2021 Donruss Optic Giddy Choice PSA 10. So these come out of the choice boxes. But pretty nice looking. I know people are always looking for Giddy at the show. So I said, ah, what the heck. Got it really probably about 50% on this one. And figured, hey, if it goes down some, I got room on to it to where I hit my max. Save the last one. No, I saved the football card for last. For last. Devonta Smith. This is the white prism auto out of 35. Yes, pop one. Really cool card. Um, I'm expecting bigger things out of this guy here for being a wide receiver. Whether he stays his whole career at the Eagles, whoever's a quarterback. I got to watch him play in some uh, games this past year, and I was kind of impressed by him. So picking this up for pretty much what a raw, well, actually probably about 10 to 15% off what a raw would sell for, uh, it was a no-brainer for me on to it. So another really nice card. Cool pickup. I kind of like the white um, background with these white prisms and everything like that. It kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. I know, I know, the auto sucks on to it. That's why nobody grades them, because they're letting them stick to each other. Uh, whatever they're putting them down, they're not letting these drive real quick, especially with the stickers on. But pretty cool, pretty cool overall. So that's it, guys. Quick, quick mail day. Tomorrow I will be at the J&J &J all Star show up in Louisville, buying, buying, and buying. Um, so if you're set up, you expect me to stop by, try to find some bulk deals up there. Uh, let's see. The following weekend, I may go to Lexington, Kentucky. It is Memorial Day weekend. I really just haven't given it much thought yet to or not go. Probably more than likely will end up going, though, because uh, I got like a six days off from work there going from Thursday to Tuesday, and I may go batty. So I may just end up going to Lexington that Saturday. The following Saturday, June 3rd, I will be set up at the Derby City Card Show in Louisville. We will be doing a giveaway up there. Well, I should say I will be doing a giveaway up there. It will be a Dennis Rodman Beckett authenticated autographed jersey framed. 
you must be present to win. I'm thinking 11. I would just say that's confirmed that much of it. You have to be present to be drawing and have to be willing to get picture, video, stuff like that done um, for the winner. But we're looking, I'm thinking, I got to get with the guys that run a show. I'm thinking 1130, do the drawing up there. Um, pretty nice piece, pretty nice piece. I'll try to get a picture of it beforehand to show you guys and post on the other social media. But want to give back to everybody who comes to the shows, digs through my value boxes and everything out there. And, you know, you guys take time, come by, talk to me. I know you're probably missing deals at other tables and stuff. But I want to give back, as always. But after that, guys, I'll be up at the weekend uh, for the Midwest Monster, the 9th and 10th. If you guys are going to that, let me know. Maybe we can meet up. But I'll be up there Friday night or Friday for the show, staying Friday night. Then I'll be back. Uh, probably go to the show a little bit Saturday, then come on back. I got to talk with the guy that runs it tomorrow because I'm kind of confused on their VIP passes. But no, I'm not setting up there, guys. I will be there. Probably bring some cards maybe for some trade bait up there to sell, something like that. See how it goes. But other than that, that's pretty much my next month wrapped up in a nutshell for everybody. Um, there are cards now posted on the website. So as there, I haven't really put this out, but um, the coding should be done by the end of the year. I have somebody doing it for free, so it's pretty much in their leisure time, him and his father doing it. Uh, so right now, just to have stuff up on it, I post, I think it's like six, seven, eight cards. And I'll keep pushing more on to it. So basically the way it's going to work is if it's great, it'll go on my slabs for like two, three days. And then it's going to get pushed to the website eventually. Uh, and we'll probably do like a remodel of the website at least twice a month. Uh, with some switching out of some of the cards and stuff. And it's if it's stuff, it's going to be stale for a while between setting up its shows. And then they'll probably just uh, go up on eBay for auction. But other than that, I think that's it for the news for me. I know I haven't done a whole lot of videos. Um, we're going to get some out about Fanatics. Let's see. Fanatics was one thing I wanted to talk about in the video. Becca Grading Services will be the second part that will come up because they're pretty much becoming defunct right now. Um, where a lot of people, I mean, they still know they graded real well, but there's just a lot of things with it that you just don't see because um, STC, I know, is graded more cards than Beckett last month. So times are changing, times are changing. I'm going to do a, probably a video with that there, talking about SGC, PSA, and Beckett. But that is it, everybody. I appreciate you watching the video. Stay on the lookout for the show video. And we're going to talk grading in a video and fanatics coming up. Have a good one. I am out.